I'm going to show an exercise that I call a band external rotation press. So I'm going to get, um, we need a, a long resistance band here, and I want to anchor it uh, down low. So this is about a foot off the ground. Um, you can anchor it anywhere as long as it's down low. Uh, the bottom of a doorway is fine. What we want is that when my arm is up overhead, uh, the band is pulling uh, down and in. Um, so the exact height is not uh, important other than it's fairly low. I'm going to take this band and I'm going to pull it across my body and get uh, my, my elbow and my wrist stacked, meaning the forearm is vertical. So right away we're working some external rotation strength that's going to create some good stability and, and, uh, and strength at the shoulder. Um, I don't want to be flared out here or have my elbow out there because then I'm not working that rotator cuff. So I want to get elbow, wrist stacked on top of each other. And then once I'm here, I'm going to press straight up overhead and then come back down with control. Um, so that's the exercise, and what you'll feel is that the elbow does want to flare out as we go up um, because we got to keep the external rotators engaged to have this nice smooth pathway. You also should feel kind of down here uh, some muscles around the shoulder blade, particularly the serratus, engage to help your shoulder track in a nice straight line. Just a couple cues, we don't want the rib cage to flare out. We don't want to get this motion from our low back by swaying. Kneeling helps with that, but keep a light engagement of the core so that way you're really just working through the shoulder and the thoracic spine and the scapula, not the low back. We don't want the low back to do the, the shoulder's job. Uh, we also don't want to be hunched forward as we do this. That's just not going to be a comfortable position to start in. But we don't want to be overly retracted either. So we want kind of a nice, neutral, you know, fluid position of the shoulders. Um, and then as you progress, typically we start with 10 to 15 reps. Um, if your shoulder starts to flare out, if you start compensating, um, we want to do this one right to build both motor control as well as endurance. Um, and so if you're not in optimal position, uh, just call the set there. Uh, finally, last cue is that uh, when we're starting, obviously the band is in front of my face because I don't want to hit myself with it. Um, but as I press up, I actually track back. So at the top, my bicep is in line with my ear. Um, that's just some good overhead press mechanics. Um, so we don't want to press up and forward. Uh, we want to press up and actually back a little bit and do that without the low back getting engaged. Uh, that's the proper track there. Um, so give this one a shot. It should be pretty challenging even with a light band. Uh, build some endurance and then increase the, the resistance.